Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and back to another day of the dead pocket letter. <laughs> yes, another one. This is going to be my last day of the dead. Probably anything though. <laughs> I think I kind of um, ran out of my creative juices because <laughs> I am officially day of the deaded out. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of do this a lot though. I pick like a theme or whatever and I just, I, I kill it. Like, <laughs> it just, I hound it until it's dead. And this has happened with the Day of the Dead pocket letter. I've officially used up pretty much all of my Day of the Dead items. I only have maybe a handful. So, Maybe a mini pocket letter, eh, but I'm no, I'm done. <laughs> I say that, and then like next week there'll be five more out. <laughs> but no, I am this one. I am good with leaving off on <laughs> because this is the one I originally had in my brain from the beginning when I bought these. Uh, cupcake liners and picks. It's the red and black, which I told you guys I was going to be making. So here it is. <laughs> the last one, the, uh, what is it? The Peace de Reson Resistance. That how you, I think that's, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I knew I've been holding this black tissue paper with the, um, scalloped edges ever since I was given it I was gifted it yeah that's right <laughs> I don't know why it was coming out wrong and I knew I was going to use the red checkered background just like the one we used for the Cruella um, I thought it would just look so cool to have the skulls and the black and red right on top of it. And I think it looks good. <laughs> a good finishing piece to put <laughs> to put the Day of the Dead pocket letters to rest. <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> kind of a pun. I don't know. <laughs> Bad joke, really. <laughs> Not really a pun. Uh, <laughs> but I just used the cupcake liners like I've been using them. I cut out the circles, uh, the centers, and then I used the scallops to make some rosettes. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that bad joke. <laughs> and then I used some black sequins to kind of just, you know, finish it off, jazz it up a little bit since that red background is a rather plain background from what I'm normally used to. Uh, lately I've been doing a lot of busy backgrounds, so. It, these sequins really help either way. It breaks up the busyness of the background paper, or it helps jazz up the really plain paper, so. I am just all for the sequins. <laughs> and no, there's no shaker pocket in this one. <laughs> I know, sad. <laughs> I should have, but <laughs> no. Uh, I think it was because I don't have any black glitter. I know, strange, right? I've got black sequins, but not black glitter. And I don't have any red, I don't think, either. Oh, I need to get some for Christmas. <laughs> you know, just a little thought there. <laughs> just randomly while I'm talking about... <laughs> That always happens, though. Anytime I go off, I'm like, oh, I should do this for Christmas, and it's like Easter. <laughs> so, <laughs> these picks, oh my gosh, so cool. They really help finish off anything. <laughs> and even on, I think it was the cocoa, they even were really nice to put on the side. So I really need to find more of these. Not the Day of the Dead theme, because... I don't even really want to look at them anymore. <laughs> but maybe some Christmas or something. That would be fun. And 
I used some black and gold baker's twine on the the ones that I didn't do tissue paper and it kind of gave it a really nice interesting texture it was so cool because I was going to just have it without and then I saw it in my little bucket that I had next to me and I was like oh you know I should probably add that <laughs> and I'm glad I did because it looks really good and you can tell I have my handle on the <laughs> rosettes now. They're going a little bit more smoothly than normal. Because <laughs> I've made so many because of these cupcake liners. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but even though I have, you know, hounded this theme out, I think this one still is a very good contender in the mix of all of the pie letters. <laughs> it's hard to pin my favorite, It's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I feel like that with all of, well, most of the things I create. Some of them I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and then I do the, I like to call it flamenco style. <laughs> ruffle. <laughs> We've done it multiple times on these and it looks so good and especially on the side of the pocket letter. Mm, just mm. <laughs> so to really you know get my goodies out the door <laughs> get these uh, things that I've been using for a while out the door I use them as goodies again. Some black sequin trim, some black and gold baker's twine, some of those picks, some of the centers of the cupcake liners, some black and white washi tape, some tea, some trim, and some of the Day of the Dead stickers, and then also some orange fuzzy trim which I thought would be really good. Very orangey on the back. <laughs> I didn't try to keep the whole theme going to the back. I don't know, it's hard to match goodies to the front sometimes. So. But that is my last, hopefully, uh, Day of the Dead pocket letter. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!